Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Today I am so excited to get to go more in depth on the singer that made me laugh the most, like hysterically laugh at the incredibleness of her voice. This is going to be Tatiana from Ginger, and she's doing a one-take recording from Judgment and Punishment. So I've heard that this is a really excellent camera angle on her especially, so I'm really excited to get to take a closer look at how she makes these awesome noises. Let's get to it. Uh, quick first takes. Uh, the the cat is adorable. Her tattoos are awesome. Uh, this has got a really fun reggae feel going, but the beginning of the piece sounded like had some awesome, uh, had like some complex time signatures happening there. That was really interesting. Uh, I like that she added a tiny bit of growl for coloration and expression as well. That was awesome. Okay, let's keep going. She's so good at switching between these. It was like her first reggae tone, and then she had the screaming section. This woman has like the best scream I've ever heard from a female screamer, and it might just be the best scream, period. It's so amazing. I love her scream. Every time I hear it, I think she's a video game monster, and I say that with the utmost respect. It is so impressive and so fun to listen to. Um, also, I know that she's not doing any damage to her vocal cords with that scream because she comes right back in with a really nice and clean belt. So she went reggae, scream, belt, just like in the matter of uh, a minute. That's awesome. That's awesome. What a great set of switches to be able to just flick on and off. Wow. Really cool. Uh, let's go back and catch that transition. So it's interesting, reggae doesn't always have like a really wide range vocally. It often is a, a little bit, uh, like this was all within an octave. So it's not a huge vocal range currently. It's more about really good timing and attitude, which she really has. I see her kind of, um, kind of going back and forth like this. You'll notice though, her mouth doesn't move very much. Her body looks like it moves more. You can't move your mouth too much when you're in a recording session like that, because it'll affect um, the take, uh, the recording. So she she moves a little bit to stay relaxed, but she's not really moving too crazy much. Her lower body moves a little bit more, and I'll have to watch, but she probably sticks it when she's really going for something that needs more breath support. Let's keep going.
This is so this is such a cool frame to see her in. I can see uh, the tattoo. It gets in the way of seeing like some of her throat some, but it's such a cool tattoo. Um, but it really looks like she's pretty relaxed in her throat while she's singing this belted section and the reggae section. I wasn't looking for that as much in the first part of the clip. Honestly, didn't expect her to start screaming so soon, um, but I'll look for it later. Um, uh, you, she did absolutely become more still when she was belting more. That just requires more physical support. And so people tend to stick it, uh, in, in opera, we have a fond term, uh, some singers will park and bark. That means you, you stay in place and you just let it rip because it is too hard to move around and sing some of those phrases in opera. Uh, so it looked like she was a little more still during her belting section. I'm curious what she's going to do uh, with some screaming or we might go back to the beginning if we don't have any more screaming in this clip. Uh, also, I love that she's wearing uh, a, a more skimpy top, almost looks like a swimsuit. It really lets me see more of what's going on. Uh, I don't think that was her intention, but as a vocal, uh, a vocal nerd, I love getting to see more of what's happening and I wish I could see her diaphragm better. Okay. So if you were here, to be in the still that again that last scream had so much um so much interesting pitch within the screen At, uh, I was looking a lot at her vocal apparatus, her shoulders, this kind of thing. Um, most of the time you don't see her shoulders coming up. I saw them come up just at the end. Um, and I was looking for that because I was wondering, is she really using good diaphragmatic breathing for this scream? Um, and it looks like she actually is relying on the diaphragm. And then there were a couple of times at the end when you saw the shoulders go like, poop, poop. and that was when she, it looked like she was getting more emphasis. Uh, now, I specifically look for this because if a singer is really depending on their diaphragm and also those lower breath support muscles as well, it goes like all the way down to your pelvic floor. Um, if they're depending on that, you won't see much shoulder movement. You really should see hardly any, if at all. Uh, your shoulders are attached to your scapulae and those are not attached to your ribs. So they, they don't help in breathing. Uh, we get this impression sometimes we're like, oh, if I raise my shoulders, I get a better breath, right? Not the case. Um, so I was watching for that to see if she was really um, bringing that breath low. And I think she is. That's really cool to see. Let's go back to that screaming section one more time. You can't really get enough of Tatiana screaming. <laughs> So there's a little shoulder movement there, but none here. Yeah. And there were three breaths in a row there where I saw no shoulder movement at all. So I think she's really taking low breaths and then sometimes uses the shoulders to make like an accent where she's probably thinking more about the expression and the body. If you get your body involved, um, especially in recording sessions, um, with your sometimes like making facial emotions that echo the feeling you've got or using your hands, that can be great to help more motion come through the recording. But you still have to depend on just a solid foundation of great technique. If you want awesome vocal technique, check out my course on that. It's on my website. You can check it out there. Um, she looks like she has that amazing technical foundation. It looks like she's keeping her breathing centered low. Sometimes shoulders get involved for expression and her larynx looks like it's pretty still. There's not a whole lot happening. You see some movement, but not a ton of tension. Okay. 
her mouth <laughs> a lot of people when they sing get scared of a sound and they'll hold it back and they'll kind of close their mouth a bit she's opening her mouth so wide for these screams it's just really truly very open and I'll keep watching that for this next section as well see if it's just an open mouth thing for screams or if that applies to the rest of her singing too wow Cool, 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 cool. Ah, that's really fun to see the whole thing up and really fun to see it up close. She does keep her mouth open like that for all of her singing. That is fantastic. I love seeing that much aperture and also just that much enunciation. It's really great uh, to be able to get to just see this technique closer and know that it's good. So two things that I loved about that. First of all, I love that it's a one take. It sounded really, really good. I mean, sometimes people will say they're one takes, but there'll still be some post-production on it. I didn't hear any major verb or like extra things on top. So I'm curious if that was entirely one take. I would have guessed that there would be some sort of cleaning up because I didn't hear much in the way of spit noises, but it sounded really, really good. And it was nice to hear just that bare voice without any extra effects on it. Uh, second thing I love is that this is recorded in a tiny bikini top. Oh my gosh, what what a dream for any vocal coach to get to really just look at what she's doing. I loved getting that closer view. And I know it's probably because it's really attractive. She's attractive. She's got great cut. She's got great eyeshadow too. But I'm all about being able to see that larynx and those shoulders. And hey, if that camera is backed up and I could see your diaphragm too, I'd be flipping out even more. So thank you to all of you who recommended this. This was an awesome recommendation. It was fantastic to get to see what she does a little bit closer. Um, if you wanna make some more recommendations, continue to post them below the YouTube video. I do keep track of that. And I would love for you to join the Patreon. I talk with my Patreons on a live video chat twice a week. And I also ask them for advice and some background information on videos as well. So if you want some more influence, Check that out. And I'm here every Monday and Friday on a live video chat on YouTube at 8 a.m. Arizona time. So if you wanna come say hello and get to know me and let me get to know you better, I would love to see you there as well. Hope to see you somewhere soon. Thanks.